Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 331, As the Deer Runs to the River, based on water, basically. Water and the scripture readings that go with it, Psalm 42, Exodus 17, 1 to 7, Isaiah 55, and John 7, 37 to 39. Of course, this text is about the refrain, Jesus being the source of living water. In 2002, the text was uh, composed by Hermann Stümpfle, and it was uh, actually published in a collection called Wondrous Love Has Called Us a few years later. The tune by David Hurd, beautiful tune, by the way, he first played it for Julian, as you see, that's the name of the tune, James Julian Mann. He was the first person he played it for, hence the tune name here. And uh, that was a friend of the composer. Now what uh, David Hurd does really well in his music is he tends to mix the or combine uh, and it becomes an amalgam of the congregational style as well as a high art. So uh, first of all, the first way of seeing that is it has a pentatonic scale, so five notes. So that's four and then your third, of course. Um, yeah, your, your fifth, sorry. <laughs> There we go, there's our five notes, our pentatonic scale. Now if we were just to take these all up, we would have literally black keys. So there's a neat, really, feeling, in some cases, maybe what we would consider a non-Western tonality. Another thing this has, uh, we can find in some of the, not in the ELW, uh, there's usually an introduction with this tune, which... makes it sound more western, I would say, because then you can, you can go into melody and it doesn't feel as weird. But taking that out, uh, which is what Evangelical Lutheran Worship does, makes it a lot easier, I think, to give it a different way to speak. And in this case, it speaks uh, with some interesting chords, some interesting harmonies. Uh, so, here is As the Deer Runs to the River.
This is one of those tunes that gets hidden, I think, in the Evangelical Lutheran worship. What a beautiful tune and beautiful text. So I would encourage you to either read Psalm 42, Exodus 17, 1 to 7, Isaiah 55, or John 7, 37 to 39. And I forgot to read this lovely quote by the composer of the tune, David Hurd, which drives this home. He says, the nuance here, meaning in this tune, is that while the melody alone is pentatonic, I did not conceive of the melody apart from its harmonic and textual context. My frame of reference was much closer to the Franz Schubert strophic art song, which Calvin Hampton so ably used as a model for many of his hymn settings, like St. Helena, for example. And I find that definitely very interesting about this tune. Could it be conceived a Schubertian art song? Well, maybe not totally with the harmonies, because they're a more modern harmony, but if I were to transform the harmony, I could definitely see somewhat of an art song. And I'm probably not so good at it, of course, as von Schubert was, who modeled those uh, lovely accompaniments after that. Uh, but even some of the improv that I'm doing could have sufficed for that. That's at least 15 times easier. But the idea is, what's great about this is that we're seeing a style from the Romantic period being transferred to today and in a way that has power like an art song. The text is powerful and the tune is powerful. And with the art song, the piano accompaniment as well as the vocal line, they were equal players. And I really find that here in this piece. Uh, if it's played on the piano or the organ, it's a very much equal player with the accompaniment as well as the singer. Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.